And I had a friend who I was working out with, and he told me, he said, he goes, he says, you know, there's these brothers from uh, South America. He goes, and they like to fight on the ground, and he goes, and, and you would love them. The name of the brothers was Gracie, and I ended up meeting up with Horian and Gracie, and that's where it took off. He showed me tapes from Brazil of, you know, things that they had done, and the first thing, he says, what do you want to do? If you want to punch us in the face, we'll punch you in the face. We'll see who's better. No phoniness to it. No, well, this, you could do this, but we don't do it because we'll, you know, we'll hurt someone. Everything was real, and, and I fell in love with that. My involvement in the first UFC was really, I was there for Hoist. They had all these big guys, and so I was there to help, you know, get, you know, Hoist a big body and get used to, you know, having to move around bigger guys. And I think the way the first fight happened and what happened with it, it was the start of people, you know, all of a sudden being shocked by because it, it shocked even the fighters in the back. And as soon as the fight ended, you know, Taylor gets, you know, goes down and gets kicked in the mouth, the tooth comes out, right, and gets punched. They kind of stop it. And I went back into the back afterwards and it went from all this noise and guys yelling, ah, and, and you know, pads were popping to just silent. All of a sudden it was like, oh my God, this is for real. We're really doing this. This is really, this is really gonna happen. I, I gotta go out there and fight. It was great being part of something and being at something that was the birth of the sport. Because it really was the birth of the sport here in North America.